um, this department for us, we call it the listening and caring department because uh, it listens to the problems that the learners have and also teachers and tries to help them find solutions to these problems. Focus. Focus is critical. But we must focus on issues that are important. You don't have to, Malimu does not have to be present with you in order to do the correct thing. You must, as an individual, know that you should be able to do the correct thing at the right what? At the right time. For 30 years, the Stockholm Environment Institute, SEI, has lived to take the lead as a research center bridging the gaps between science and policy. SEI was founded in 1989 on the legacy of the historic 1972 United Nations Conference on Human Environment, the Stockholm Conference. SEI has eight centers around the world located in the UK, York and Oxford, the U.S., Asia, Center in Bangkok, Africa Center in Nairobi, Kenya, Latin America, Center in Bogotia, Colombia, Talent Center in Estonia, and the headquarters are located in Stockholm, Sweden. SEI has for 10 years excelled in its role in supporting Africa's capacity in decision-making and sustainable development. We have three priority program areas. So the first program area is on sustainable urbanization. The second program area we are looking at energy and climate change. And the third program area we are looking at natural resources and ecosystems. SCI Africa Center is actually in a very good position, I would say, and an excellent position regarding the type of research activities and the policy links that can be done from here. SEI Africa's approach is highly collaborative in providing experts on climate, water, air, land, energy, and cross-cutting issues in terms of governance, economy, gender, and health issues. My name is uh, Jackson Mutia, working for UNICEF as a water, sanitation, and hygiene specialist uh, based in uh, Lodwa Zonal Office. From February to September, UNICEF has been doing interventions in, uh, in the wash sector for drought response. And uh, we've been able to reach uh, about uh, 146,000 people in this region, while the affected number of people was uh, 400,000 people in this region. Health have really improved things like scabies, things like maybe uh, having other uh, waterborne diseases or other things like maybe things like cholera and other things which used to be rampant here has now reduced and we're having a very humble time when it comes to learning activities. Asanda sana UNICEF.
Well, this is actually not a decision made by me. It was a demand uh, from the community uh, that they wanted uh, a health screening uh, camp. And um, through their suggestion, we have been working uh, with the various organizations, the various stakeholders, uh, to make sure that we have a, um, a medical camp that uh, looks at the problems uh, that uh, people have in the constituency. And I think it is important for people to know their conditions much earlier. Because in most cases, uh, people don't bother. They only go to hospital or to see a doctor when they are critically ill.